Hello, thank you for being here and watching this video about living alone in Budapest. Today I'm going to Full Moon Shop because I'm looking for a bracelet. It's one of those shops that you can find incense, mineral jewelry or home decor. It is one of the big ones that I know in Budapest. And it's in the city center next to the central market. I'm looking for a bracelet that has amethyst and also rose quartz. And that's what I found. And now I'm walking home because I would like to show you what is Radai Uta. A street that local Hungarians like to come in the evening or at night. Full of bars and restaurants that have very beautiful lights. From my apartment, this is the piece of sky I can see. Now that I am at home, I have to stick to my tasks. I always play very relaxing lo-fi music to help me relax and focus. As I mentioned in other videos, I am following a course that fastens your reading speed. The book I chose for this task is 1984, George Orwell. I usually read very slow because English is not my first language and I have to stop every time I don't understand a word. But in the course they tell you not to stop, not to reread if you don't understand something. They tell you to use a visual pace guide. That is the function of my Apple Pen backwards. Since I started with the course, I read every day 10 minutes and I measure the words per minute ratio which has been improved during the last days I am actually reading faster but at this speed I just get the context however consistency is key another thing that I have to get done today is going to the supermarket in Budapest the supermarkets I frequently go are Aldi and Lidl there is also Spur and Tesco. I remember how excited I was to know that there was Tesco in Budapest. I thought it was just a supermarket that you can find in UK. But there is more variety of organic products in Aldi. That is why this is my favorite supermarket here. But today I'm going to Lidl because it's closer. I didn't expect I had to queue. They limited the number of people inside of the supermarket. This fancy and modern building you can see is a department store called Kovin. I bought two heavy things for this bag and the paper bag broke. On my way home I saw this beautiful old school glass shop. I'm pretty sure there are many, many old school stores in Budapest. I wish I could know them all. Now I am home again and I'm going to prepare tea. To relax a little bit and then I will prepare my dinner. At home I like eating very healthy. For tonight a salad with tomato, cucumber and mini mozzarella. The dressing for this salad is going to be delicious, so sesame oil first. Also a little bit of my favorite soy sauce, which I use for everything, cooking, gyozas, sushi, and also olive oil. One of the reasons that motivate me to do an Erasmus is to cook whatever I want at home and have a better control of my diet. As many students and lucky us, our parents cook at home and it is really hard to follow a diet if they cook for you because it's so convenient to have the food done and rejecting is not easy. Morning, I start the day with a lemon water I've decided that I will have breakfast and coffee outside in one of my favorite places in Budapest. I hope it is not going to rain because the sky is covered by clouds. One of the perks of doing an Erasmus in Budapest is that the city is very well connected with the tram. 
It is just a luxury to go anywhere by tram. The coffee shop is called Bach. They just opened after they lightened the restrictions of COVID. They have a wide variety of self-made pastries, sweet and salty options. I just got my favorite, which is pistachio croissant. Inside is very spacious. You can see their kitchen and bakery from outside and a barista making your coffee. I had to sit outside because only those who have the immunity card can sit inside. But this is a restriction that when 40% of Hungarians are vaccinated will change. By being an Erasmus student after the COVID pandemic, being able to sit outside, have a coffee and eat a pastry, it's a luxury. I met up with a friend and we're going to order some Japanese homemade food. They don't have a wide menu, but the relation price quality is very nice. And they have very cute Japanese details everywhere. They sell typical Japanese dishes and they are around 4 euro. We decided to eat in a place with beautiful views and the closest we can get is Nerubart. Nerubart is a park that is next to Danube. There are a lot of wildflowers, good views, green grass to do picnic. It is right in front of the BME University. Once we found the spot we like, it was time to eat our gyudon or Japanese beef bowl. It's a very simple dish with few ingredients such as beef, some onions and rice. In winter we couldn't do picnics, so the only way to eat Japanese food was ordering at home. Now that the weather is good, I finally can have Erasmus life and enjoy Budapest. We're gonna catch the tram number 2 that connects Neroport to the city center, which is Dekferenk. The views you can see from this tram are the best, because you travel next to the Danube. You can see everything worth seeing in Budapest, such as the Parliament, Buda Castle, the Chain Bridge, Citadella Hill and its Liberty statue. All those things that make Budapest so special. It's nice to see that some restaurants or bars on the boats are open. Now we're going to the fashion street. On our way we can see some statues such as the girl with her dog. Normally it is more crowded than this, especially on weekends. This is the shopping area full of restaurants, bars and souvenir shops. During Christmas Eve, fashion street is a must-go place. Not so far, we can see the Budapest Eye. With some friends, we went there and we still think that from the Citadella, the views of Budapest are even better. After parties, Erasmus students always gathered here in Elizabeth Square. There is also a skateboarding park and behind of it, an open air bar with two floors. I wonder how would be the atmosphere at night if in the evening is already like that. We ordered a couple of lemonades and they gave us those coins to get the refund of the glasses. Life in Budapest is amazing. There are plenty of places like this one and it's full of international people.
Erasmus is an experience in which you can rediscover who you are in a totally new place with new people. Now we are going to sit by the Danube next to the chain bridge to see how the sky gets darker. Because Budapest during the day and during the night are totally two different words. I will never get tired of Budapest. Even though chain bridge lights are under construction, it still looks stunning. And the Buddha Castle district too. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. See ya!